good evening. And for those of you whom are listening at the sound of my voice, and before we end this evening, something has been on my mind all day long. And that something was of all the saga and the media attention to the Bishop Eddie Lone, unfortunately sexual saga, but very little has been done regarding the prayer for the alleged four victims. And it would be wrong for me right now not to provide a prayer and asking God to send an angel down to correct their minds and their hearts. So I'd like to take a few moments, if you don't mind, and provide this prayer for the alleged victims, Anthony Flagg, Spencer Lagrange, Maurice Robinson and Jamal Paris. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I've been led by the Holy Spirit to write this prayer on behalf of the alleged victims involved in the Bishop Eddie Loan of New Birth Missionary Church of Christ located in Lithonia, Georgia. While I can't say who is guilty or not, I must say as a father, uncle, nephew, and a minister, we as Christians must pray for all, including these young men. See, the scripture tells us in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned. In 1 John 1 and 8, there is a penalty for sin. Romans 6, 23 and John 3, 18, you cannot save yourself. And in Titus 3, 5, James 2, 10, salvation has been provided. In Ephesians 2, 89 and John 3, 16, as well as in John 4, 16, the conditions are simple. We must repent our sins. Luke 3 and Luke 13 3 confess you'll find him first John and 1 9 and Romans 10 9 believe and Acts 6 30 16 13 now is the time for decisions and Joshua 24 15 2 Corinthians 6 2, you're going to find and share your new faith. And then finally, confess that Christ before all men in Matthew 10 32 and 33. Right now, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believed in him should not perish but have eternal life. And for God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world should be saved through him, as stated in John 3, 16 and 17. And therefore, having been justified by faith, I have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also I have attained my introduction by faith into this grace in which I stand, and I exalt in hope of the glory of God. And not only this, but I also exhort in my tribulation, knowing that tribulation brings about hope. And hope is proving character. And proving character uh, is faith. And faith does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out within my heart through the Holy Spirit who was given to me as stated in Romans 5, 1 and 5. You see, my brothers and sisters, 
these young men, they may be afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not despairing, prosecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, knowing that by faith he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise these men also with Jesus and will present these young men's mind, bodies, and most important, their soul with Jesus. And therefore, they do not lose heart, for through their inner flesh is the can, yet their inner soul uh, can be and is being renewed day by day. See, my sisters and brothers, for momentary light affliction is producing for them an eternal weight of glory far beyond comparison. While they look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporarily, but the things which are not seen are eternal. As stated in 2 Corinthians 4, 8, 9, 14, 16 through 18. As these young men lay their fragile body down by faith for their Lord Jesus Christ to be near them, to defend them, within them to refresh them, around them to preserve them, before them to guide them, and behind them to justify them, O God, above them to bless them. One day we pray they will live and resign with the Father and the Holy Ghost for all the remaining days of their life. And our Father, be gracious to your children, Anthony Flagg, Spencer Larry Grandin, Maurice, uh, Maurice Robinson, and Jamal Paris. O oh God, according to thy loving kindness and according to the greatness of thy compassion, they ask for your help, O oh Father. Father, they may be perplexed and may be afraid, and sometimes for not being able to see that which the next hour may bring. God, if it is your will, give your children extended years while they are on earth through your grace, O oh Father. Father, whatever may need to be done to their souls and their flesh, please do it, O oh Heavenly Father. Father, once again I ask you to send your angels down from heaven to watch over them as they weather this storm. Father, as they exit this dark tunnel, let them be stronger by renewed Christian faith. In your Son, Jesus' name, O oh Heavenly Father. O oh, merciful Father, it's a dark cloud over the members of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. But, O oh, Father, we know that your grace is sufficient. And we know, O oh, Heavenly Father, your grace is all that is needed. <laughs> Father, touch these young men. O oh, merciful Father, so many in this world are first to want to cast out the victims if they are, O oh Heavenly Father. And oh, merciful Father, while I don't know, but I do know that your will shall be done. And Father, if these four young men are victims, and if there are any others that will come forward, or whether these men are not victims, Father, touch their hearts, Father, to let them know that if they are victims, Heavenly Father, Oh, Father, that you can heal their wounds, that you can conquer their souls and set them on a righteous journey, oh, Heavenly Father. No oh, merciful Father, if they are not victims, and if this come from some vindictiveness of their minds, of their spirit, oh, Father, clean their flesh, cleanse their heart, and, O oh, merciful Father, set them on a righteous course, O oh, Father, to find your Son, Jesus Christ. And, O oh, merciful Father, all we can say at this moment in this hour, Father, that you are the way, the truth, and the life. We know, Heavenly Father, those of us we see first will come last, and those that individuals see us last will become first. Lord, Heavenly Father, this we ask in your Son, Jesus' name. For the members of new birth, amen. Right now, you see, when you ask the 
allowed to do something for you. He can move in a hand. Do it for me. While I still sing. Do it for me. Right now. Amen.